Hey Scorpios, it's your girl Elise Laveau and I am back with another Zodiac video. Yes, we are on YouTube now. Shout outs to you guys for walking with me throughout this and staying. Um, thank you so much and welcome to this new segment on our YouTube channel, okay? If you are new here, please do not hit to forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and also that notification bell so that you do not miss any new uploads from me. Okay, I will be doing these videos twice a month for you guys. Uh, every two weeks, you will be getting a curated video just for your zodiac sign to help you get through that month that we are in. So this is for the last two weeks of November to help get you through. Quick disclaimer for those of you that are new to this channel and you don't know, I am a mom of three. I do have a toddler running around and if you hear him in the back, just ignore it. We're going to push through this, okay? If you are a Scorpio and have Scorpio in any of your placements as your sun, moon, or rising, this could possibly resonate with you. If you have Scorpio in any of your 12 houses, this could also possibly resonate. If you are a cross watcher and you're not a Scorpio, hello and welcome. You can stay as long as you want, as long as you're bringing positivity underneath this video, okay? So let's get into this. So the cards that we have out are the strength card in reverse. We have the Hierophant upright. We have the Six of Pentacles upright. And we have the Wheel. The World, I'm sorry. The World. Yes, the World. <laughs> I had to look at it in reverse. Okay. So for the tarot portion, I feel like you guys have been going through it, possibly in your relationships. Um, cause this to me screams relationship and with the strength card in reverse y'all, some of y'all have been playing on some urges that you have been having. There's been a lack of discipline heavy with you guys this past month and the past weeks, um, that we've just, um, gone through. Um, with these urges that you're going through and this weakness that you are having possibly maybe leading to cheating or talking to other people, whatever the situation may be or feeling like you need to do that, guys, I want you to say it's not the best idea. You have someone in your life that deserves better. You have someone in your life that that needs 100% from you. Okay, I want this card to be upright okay this card in reverse it just screams you doing things that you're not supposed to be doing and not having the strength within yourself to say no i don't need to be doing this no i shouldn't be doing this you know what i'm saying so with the strength card in reverse we want to watch these urges that we're having this little moment we're having okay with the hierophant i feel like you guys already know the answer with the hierophant here and Having that moment of introspection and going within inside yourself and finding the answers needed, you have to do that to get through these urges and this lack of self-discipline or um, bad choices that you've been making, whether it be in the relationship or spending or um, whatever the situation is. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a romantic relationship we're talking about. It could be friendships. It could be your personal life with your parents and family members, whatever the situation is, right? Um, but with this hierophant here next to the, the strength card in reverse, I want you to look within for the answers. Allow your intuition, um, God, source, spirit, your ancestors, spirit guides to help you through this moment and make sure that you are making the right decision. A lot of you want to do things non-traditionally and I feel like you need to be do leaning on tradition and your spirituality, your religion, whatever the situation may be to help get you through these urges. Whatever it is that you're not supposed to be doing and you need to use this Hierophant card to help build upon that strength that you're lacking um, to get you through the next couple of weeks, okay? With the Six of Pentacles, I feel like it's not balanced and this is why I felt like it was in revolving around relationships, right? And with this is Six of Pentacles, and it's funny because it, it, when I was shuffling, this, this card popped out and it landed kind of like this. And I was like, oh, I'll just take it up right. But I feel like I should have taken it in reverse when I looked at all the rest of the cards. But regardless of what, it's giving more than you have and being one-sided or someone giving more than they have or... You know, someone is doing all the right things, saying all the right things, being truthful, being honest. And then here we are, um, you not doing that. You 
having these urges that you're acting upon or allowing um, temptation to come through and sift you through or kind of um, pull you in the wrong direction that you don't need to be in. It could also be some of you are just not in a relationship and you know you're getting these temptations from other people when you necessarily know you're not supposed to be in a relationship right now. Maybe it's you need to work on yourself right now. You need to get things in order for you right now. So Whatever this six of pentacles is, it's a lack of balance. It's almost one person giving too much, doing too much, and the other person not doing as much. Or it's just, you know, you needing some equal balance in your life and that even flow of allowing things to flow evenly in your life and just not doing, putting too much coins in one basket and the other baskets are empty, okay? With the world card in reverse, it's kind of almost feeling stuck, almost. Because the world, I love the world card. The world card is a beautiful card. But in reverse, it's like feeling stuck, having setbacks of some sort, um, not having the success you possibly want or imagined you having, and feeling, um, feeling stuck, feeling not sure if to go up, down, left, or right. You know what I'm saying? It's just feeling that moment of not sure what to do. And it's the lack of effort for me. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're putting too much into something where it doesn't need to be in. And the things that you need to be focusing on, it's kind of like you have this lack of effort, this lack of motivation, this lack of inspiration, courage to do the right thing or to do the things you need to do. I feel like a lot of you have been having a lot of setbacks. And the setbacks you've been having is because you haven't been making the right decisions or having the strength to make the right decisions or do what needs to be done and focusing on your priorities. So going forward, the next two weeks of November, you really need to get things together and really focus on you getting your life together, getting your house in order, making sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be so that we don't have to keep going through these setbacks. We don't have to keep going through having having this moment of not really sure of what to do with ourselves or not really sure of who we have in our corner um, because we've burned all the bridges along the way. So you need to make sure that you are putting out um, what you are getting in return. Now, granted, if someone is not giving you, if you're the one on the receiving end where you're giving, 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 and the person is just taking, 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 and not treating you the way you're supposed to be treated, then absolutely match that energy but if it's you being the toxic one we want to make sure that we're pulling out of that toxicity and we're going to be okay so getting getting into your oracle card there was only one card that came out for you guys um and i feel like it's because you guys have a lot going on and you just kind of need to focus on you and ironically the one card that came out said surrender look how beautiful this card is and quick disclaimer anybody that wants to know what decks i used in this reading i will have a link listed down below um, of where you can find and buy the decks okay and your card your oracle card is surrender surrender your cares concerns your wants your wishes your pain your sorrow your happiness everything to spirit allow god to handle it for you and it looks like you guys have a lot of things that need to be sorted out. You guys have a lot of things um, that you need to take to God and just kind of be able to help you deal with the motions of everyday life. Surrender yourself um, and allow yourself to be more open and susceptible to the things of spirit and allowing yourself to be open to healing and also being a healing factor for someone else. Surrender that egotistical way that you guys have about yourselves okay don't allow excuse me ego to come in and just take over but surrender everything so that you can feel lighter you can feel not as heavy and not as burdened and sad and sorrowful a lot of you have a way of um putting on a face get a mask to be like yeah i'm cool i'm good everything's great you know um and just not really healing from a standpoint and allowing yourself to be better for not only you but for others okay Scorpio I hope that this message made some sense for you I hope that it resonated for you in, in some way shape form or fashion I hope it brought you some direction some peace some honesty and some clarity and direction into your uh month and I hope that 
it brought you peace i don't know if i said that but peace is what i hope you have especially dealing with um feeling stuck um i know some of the cards were saying you felt stuck or possibly the lack of uh discipline and feeling weak and having these urges or leads by urges and just allow yourself to surrender all of that to god and allow god to um bring you out of this rut and make you better okay i'm hoping that you can be able to take this message um and be able to implement it into the rest of your weeks ahead um the rest of the year and going into 2021 on the right foot okay you guys i'm wishing you all the best and um all the love and happiness i could send and i am sending you love light and a little bit of darkness because we always 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 need that balance okay until next time i will see you guys and i'll see you next month in your video.